Hey there, it's Sam here from BMT School of Music, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the correct equipment and audio settings to run your music lesson via Zoom. You're going to need a laptop, you're going to need headphones, and you're going to need to download the Zoom app. We're going to start by downloading the app. So go to Google and search for Download Zoom, go to the official Zoom website, zoom.us, click on that link, and then download the appropriate app, depending on whether you have a PC or a Mac. Once you've done that, you're going to open the newly installed Zoom app on your laptop, and you're going to click the orange button that will say something like start new meeting. Mine says return to new meeting because I already have Zoom open. If I just go to this video call that I'm running already, you'll be prompted to allow access to your microphone and prompted to allow access to your camera. So say yes to all of those and turn them on. Mine are turned off for the purpose of recording this video. Then we're going to do the audio settings. So what you need to do is go to the microphone, go to the little arrow next to the microphone, click on that, and then click on this bit that says audio settings, and that's going to bring up, bring up this big white box. So in here, there's a few things we do in here. We just uncheck this box that says automatically adjust microphone volume. So we've done that. And down here, we're going to change this from this one, zoom background noise removal, to this one, original sound for musicians. So once we've done that, we've got three boxes. We're going to check the top one and the bottom one, which say high fidelity music mode and stereo audio. That's all you need to do in this box. We click off of that box. And then this button will have appeared, which says original sound for musicians. And it says off. We want to actually click it. So it says on. And that's it. That's all you need to do. You need to make sure that your headphones are plugged in as well. When you close Zoom and reopen it again, some of these settings may change and your teacher will do a sound check with you. Now, the reason why we do this is because Zoom is built for voice. And so what it does is it prioritizes your voice and tries to eliminate background noise. So every time that your dog is barking or your washing machine is running, Zoom tries to eliminate that for you. The problem with doing music lessons via Zoom is if you're playing an instrument, it also thinks that's background noise and tries to eliminate it. Hence, your music lesson will sound awful if you don't have these settings. So once both teacher and student have the Zoom app on their laptop, they have these audio settings and they both have headphones on, they're going to have a brilliant lesson. And we hope that you have a brilliant lesson once you've set this up. Bye-bye.